Okay, uh, today is uh, August 17th. Or oh, was it the 18th? Mm -hmm. Sorry about no, that. Okay. Who was in the coma? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, so it's the August 18th, 2011. Uh, and uh, John, you're here for a follow up evaluation. Let's put everything into context. Your first uh, ketamine coma, because you're, you're one of those that had two of them. Mm -hmm. Your first ketamine coma was about two years and two months ago, okay? Mm -hmm. And then um, about, um, uh, well, first of all, let's just say, why did you have the second coma? What happened is you went to a physical therapist. They manipulated that left shoulder area where, you, where most of your RSD symptoms lie and, of course, into your neck Not and so forth. Right. Mm -hmm. And they set the RSD off. Correct. Again, you're a good example of how physical therapists can actually make patients worse. Mm -hmm. And uh, which you're not the first one to have that happen, okay? And what does it is what we call passive manipulation, which should never be done on patients that have CRPS, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. um, the, um, so then you went on about a, a year ago to have the second uh, ketamine coma, which did help you. Yes. However, uh, you ended up with some throat problems, some throat irritation problems. Right. And uh, that sets you back. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, you went on to have some six sessions, approximately six sessions, of uh, low dose ketamine infusions. When I talk low dose, I mean really low dose, 50 milligrams an hour, which is very low. Mm -hmm. And uh, but they helped you. Yes. You agree with me? Yes. They helped you a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, but in the meantime, you did probably the most important thing is you engaged in the heat of pool exercises. Okay. Yes. So the ketamine um, boosters that you had, the low dose, were there to just to help get you jump started into the water to help you. Yes. And wouldn't you agree with me that the the heat of pool exercises is probably the, the most important thing? I agree. That has brought you to where you are right now. And anybody looking at this today's video should really have to go back and look at the video we took on you mm -hmm. eight eight months after the first coma and look at the dramatic improvement. One of the things, of course, is you've lost so much weight. You look like a Pretty handsome dude here. So, how much weight have you lost? Don't get any ideas, Doctor? Right. <laughs> About 35 pounds. About 35. Yeah, that's a lot. And mm -hmm. you, you just don't. Your face doesn't even look the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. so. And that's good because you did have a significant CRPS symptoms down in that left leg. So now you don't have that weight bearing mm -hmm. uh, going on. Um, so um, that kind of puts us into context of what brought you to this point. And one of the things that we can, um, as you put it, we can state is that you're on full throttle as far as your, your function is concerned. You're yes. able to swim like a normal person now. So mm -hmm. um, what we want to do now at this point, in, oh, one other thing uh, we need to uh, comment on, and that, of course, is this the marijuana thing. Mm -hmm. So why don't you tell us briefly how that came about briefly and uh, what, what impact it has had, and do you think all CRP patients should be engaging in pot? Well, uh, I, would, I have been uh, having uh, bad migraines that were associated with my uh, neck, original injury uh, pain. And uh, I was on a lot of uh, different types of medications to try to break that headache. Uh, through desperation, I finally tried pot, and the pot was able to break that pain cycle. I've uh, been using it for about four months, recently cycled off of it. The, the pot broke the pain cycle successfully. Uh, I was able to uh, successfully move on in my physical therapy at the uh, pool and uh, progress um, to a, a better level and, and uh, really turn a corner in a positive sense. Um, the, the pot uh, was good for me and my individual uh, case. Uh, everybody's uh, case with the CRPS is individual. I don't advocate it for everybody. It worked in my case, thank God for me. Uh, everybody has to find their own path and uh, it can help some people. Other people it probably won't touch. Right. Okay, so two points need to be made. What we're treating here is headache, which of course can set off the CRPS, okay? Mm -hmm. And so uh, that's point number one. So not everybody has that scenario going on with their RSD. The second point is you're one individual. Mm -hmm. And until we do large you know, studies and, that are controlled, we won't know what the benefits are. So, right. so I think there needs to be a very strong, as you have indicated, a very strong cautionary note here made mm -hmm. about the use of a pot at this point in time, okay? Yes. Now, 
Um, let's go and do your exercise, see how you've improved since the last time I, I tested you, okay? You ready for that? Okay, Jack Lane. <laughs> All right. So let's do the vertical finger test first. Remember, you had pain when you put two vertical fingers in your mouth. Let's see if you have that now. Okay. Just, just two fingers only. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Bring your mouth. Oh, I'll, you're showing off. No, bring your <laughs> mouth there. Bring your mouth together. There you go. Do you have pain when you bring it down on your fingers? No. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Next thing we're going to have you do, John, is we're going to have you take that right hand behind your head, please. Mm -hmm. You having pain when you do that? No. Last time I saw you six months, uh, sorry, eight months after the first coma, you mm -hmm. did have pain back there. Remember that? No pain. Okay. Now, this is the, the that, that left upper has always been your killer. Mm -hmm. Let's see if you can get your hand back there now. See, you couldn't do any of that before. You could barely get it up to brush your teeth. Remember that yes. when I saw you? Mm -hmm. All right, so that's huge, huge, mm -hmm. huge improvement, okay? Right. Next thing I want you to do, John, is take your right hand out in front of you, please. Open and close it as fast as you can. Very good. And now do your left for me. That's good. Good job. Excellent job. Um, now, the other thing about you is, uh, which is very important, as you know, one of your hobbies, one of your interests is singing, right? Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that I want you to do now, because we we've been monitoring that because it was a big concern because you really lost your, your voice for a while there. Mm -hmm. So can you give us a short, for comparison, a short uh, example of what you can do now? Come out Virginia, don't let me wait. You carefully girls start much too late. Sooner or later comes down to fate. I might as well be the one. That's there you all you go. Let me sing. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Right. Well, we don't need the, the star. What do they call the Star Spangled Banner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> national anthem. All yeah, right. obviously there's a lot more dy uh, uh, dynamics to your voice than it was the last time we had you. So, right, right. so that's good news. Thank you. And um, now, next thing we're going to do is examine your lower extremities. So, if you don't mind, you take off your shoes, please. No jokes. What's that? No jokes. <laughs> no jokes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We we'll go stand in the doorway there, mm -hmm. please. Okay. And when you're walking over there, John, are you having any pain when you walk? No. Now remember now, when we asked you to walk on your toes last time, you had some pain in that left foot. You remember that? Yes. Let's see if you have that same pain again. Toes, Go ahead. Toes. Toes, yeah, just toes. Yeah, ballerina stuff. Okay, very good. Go on back. Okay. Backwards? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, back's fine. That's okay. fine. Now you have any pain in that left lower extremity of yours? No, just some uh, calf muscle pain, but that's just... Yeah, conditioning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now do your heels. You were okay on your heels last time, but just for completeness, let's do your heels. Very good, John. That's good. You can go back now. That's fine. All right. Very good. Okay. No, that's fine. Right there. Okay. Now, one last thing uh, I want you to do. Uh, again, it's a little bit more challenging. Are you ready for that? Okay. See that black stretcher over there? Yes. I want you to leap from where you are. <laughs> John, come back. I got a running start. <laughs> I got to get a running start. All right. All right. Go ahead. Sit down. Okay. Now, um, there's only one thing that I wanted to kind of <clears throat> underscore. I know you know, I know you know, and I'm singing to the choir when it comes to the importance of the heated pull exercises, okay? Mm -hmm. And one of the things we talked about here, John, is I want you to get into measuring your exercise tolerance mm -hmm. and get shooting for good hangovers, you know, not bad hangovers mm -hmm. after your exercise. Yeah. And do it continuously, don't uh, continuous exercise. So that, that'll be your, your strongest indicator as to whether or not you need another ketamine infusion, okay? Right. Okay. Um, we're talking not about coma now. We're talking about uh, a backup, if mm -hmm. you will, high dose if possible. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so that was the only thing that I was going to recommend at this point. I'd like to see you back in about a year, um, one more year, because we'll get the two-year follow-up on your second coma, mm -hmm. and and see how you're doing at that point. But obviously, you've made great improvements, and I would say, looking at your pain thresholds, which we're going to post up on up on the web website. You're almost, you're practically back to normal on your pain thresholds. Turn the corner. Turn the corner, right. Now, John, um, do you have any questions, any comments you'd like to make at this point? About send, this journey. Send money. <laughs> send money, yeah. Mm -hmm. It costs money, doesn't it? Right, right. Yeah, especially the coma. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, did, did you have it? I didn't ask you this earlier, but do you have an idea of roughly what it costs on that second one? Because that was the most current pricing on it. Not the not the trip, but I'm just talking about the hospital costs, roughly, uh, roughly, just a rough number. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking um, close to uh, sixty. About sixty. Yeah, that 60. sounds about right. Yeah, mm -hmm. about that. Yeah, but that doesn't include the the cost of the hotel, oh, no. cost, cost the of travel, air, Monterey, travel. Monterey, Mexico, which mm -hmm. is not next door, but it's better than Germany. But correct. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and and the the treatment and the people are all beautiful, and I right. would not hesitate to go back. Right, gotcha. Wouldn't Understood. Any other comments? 
at this point? Have a beautiful day. Okay, great. Thanks.